There is a land of savanna and forests that exports massive amounts of oil, rubber and chocolate. Indeed, all the things necessary for a perfect night in. I'm Chuffley and this is Chuffley's Countries. Of course, I'm talking about the Federal Republic of Nigeria, a place with a fascinating history, a noble people and a rich culture. I am yet to have had the pleasure of visiting Nigeria, but I will always maintain that food is the soul of any culture. I went to a Nigerian restaurant recently. I was staying in part of London with a large West African community, so when I saw an unassuming little place catering for local working people, of course, I jumped at the opportunity. Here's a picture of my meal. It was hearty, robust, with unfamiliar spices, but a familiar burn. Beef stew, jollof rice, grilled plantain, washed down with an African beer whose name escapes me. The food was great, the service was shocking, but at the same time perfectly friendly. I came away with a full belly and changed from £20. If that's typical of Nigerian dining, then I'll try it again as soon as I can. It's certainly not typical of London. Nigeria is the most populous country in Africa, but it's tricky to call anyone Nigerian unless it's simply in reference to their passport. You see, Nigeria has more than 250 distinct ethnic groups, and between them, they speak hundreds of languages, variants and dialects. As a result, all road signs in the country have to be bigger than houses and filled with translations for every motorist. I'm sorry I was late for work, boss. I had to stop at a new road sign, and it took me 20 minutes to find out where it said temporary parking suspension. There is a town in the southwest of the country that has a genuinely strange, magical feature. For reasons that confound science to this day, families in the town of Igbo Ora have a startlingly high number of twins. Many people believe that this is down to the diet of the town's women folk, who have a particular fondness for locally grown yams. Igbo Ora yams are thought to contain a special chemical that makes multiple births more likely, and as a consequence, they are completely banned from my house. And a town full of twins is no joke. I mean, criminals can't get convicted. A positive ID is impossible. You were seen and caught on camera holding up the petrol station. Yeah, that wasn't me, Your Honour. That was my identical twin brother. Just like last time? <laughs> yeah, just like last time. In terms of volume, Nigeria has the second biggest film industry in the world, surpassed only by India. As Indians refer to their industry as Bollywood, so Nigerians enjoy entertainment from the huge output of Nollywood. It is the Nigerians' love of homegrown cinema that supports this industry, despite Nollywood's struggle with piracy. Many of the losses filmmakers can suffer due to file sharing are mitigated by the fact that many productions are brought to the public with budgets of less than £15,000. You don't need too much of a share of Nigeria's 220 million strong audience to break even at the box office. And when you've got talented people, nobody cares that you're filming volunteer actors on iPhones. Nigeria is home to an unknown number of undiscovered species. Now we know this because new species are being discovered all the time. As it happens, most of these discoveries are butterflies. It would be great if they were finding new species of big cats or presumed extinct dinosaurs in the deep forest, but butterflies are cool too. There are over a thousand species of butterflies in Nigeria, and counting. That's a lot of pins collectors are having to buy. Nigeria is the home of the richest person in Africa, a Mr. Dangote, whose net worth is estimated at more than $13 billion. I do not care for billionaires. He has a cousin, who is a mere multimillionaire, and is currently incarcerated on false corruption charges. His bank accounts are frozen. I know this because I was contacted by his legal representative in Lagos, who had identified me as a morally upstanding chap who would be willing to assist someone facing injustice, particularly when I would be rewarded with almost £10 million for my help. Thankfully, it was simply a matter of my sending £500 to cover some outstanding legal fees and unfreeze the accounts and to secure his release. I expect to receive my reward in the next few days. 